As promised in my last video, this video is about the sunset at Loch Annelin. I said I was going to go to Loch Annelin, um, but I was looking at the photographer's ephemeris skyfire app, and that says I should be in for a spectacular sunset. <laughs> Famous last words, as I always say. Uh, who knows if that's going to happen or not. The only problem with Loch Annelin is that everyone and their aunt is here to walk their dogs and enjoy the loch, which is, you know, it's fair enough. It's just, it makes this difficult. It makes recording vlogs difficult. So, um, I'll see how it goes. Now, I have walked around this lock a million times, but I've I've always struggled to find a decent composition. But I have seen a photo by someone else that I really liked the composition of, so I want to try and find something similar, not the same, but try and frame the castle that sits on the lock with something else, like a tree or something. Um, from further away using a long lens because whenever I've tried to photograph it like right there at the lock it just looks a bit flat it looks a bit boring um, and it just looks like a, a grey stone wall so it, this video is about that pursuit of a composition for somewhere where I've struggled with before and hopefully finding something before sunset and getting a sunset image once I've got that image in the bag, I'll then run around like a headless chicken trying to get some other shots before the colours go. <laughs> Something like that. But that's that's the goal. So let's see how this goes. As it turned out, the image I had seen before was easily found. It was right in front of my face. So I had more time on my hands than I thought I would. There were lots of families enjoying the lock, so I decided to explore around for other compositions. As I wandered around a bit, I saw this large boulder, so I tried to frame it as a foreground anchor to the castle in the distance. The golden light was casting a glow on the hills in the background, a nice simple composition that I can return to in the future. With that shot finished, I continued my pursuit for new compositions.
continuing my walk through the forest, sticking to the banks of the loch as much as possible. The light was amazing, creating a golden landscape that landscape photographers wish for. My next composition was to capture that golden light, while also making the castle more prominent in the composition. The combination of lock and light was so beautiful I decided not to cut the landscape into a small frame, so I created a panorama that captured the entirety of the light with the castle subtly glowing in the right hand side of the image. With those compositions finished, we were now heading towards sunset, so I made my way back to the composition that had intrigued me from the beginning, the one that I had seen done by another photographer. The composition was fairly simple, zooming in across the lock to the castle, the golden hills in the background and the pine trees offering a balance to the island castle. I decided to crop to a 4x5 aspect ratio because I didn't want to cut off the reflection of the landscape but the sides of the image were a bit cluttered and I wanted to concentrate the view on the castle. After that, it was a matter of waiting for the sunset to begin. While I sat there, the midges began to plague me. This was October and still the midges were annoying.
but the wait was definitely worth it. The sunset was spectacular. The earlier composition was not going to work because there was no sky and the sky was alight with pinks and oranges. So I turned my camera to portrait for the first shot and it was spectacular. I then switched back to landscape but went wider than before, incorporating both banks of the lock and the reflections of the trees, as well as the pinks and oranges in the sky. I stuck with that composition as the sunset happened, retrieving my remote trigger to do an ultra long exposure of more than a minute. I ended up capturing two different images showing the development of the sunset and in particular the beautiful pink colours fading into blue. So that's it for today. I've kept it a bit shorter than usual and I really wanted to bring you into the landscape. Calendar changing pages automatically there. Um, so I focused very much on the... Right, I'm going to start that again. Got a bit distracted there when the calendar changed pages. So I was trying to keep you focused on the landscape and that's why the voiceover was very brief. I wanted to bring you into the, the environment as uh, things have changed and in England and so you may be in lockdown now. And I thought it might be nice for you to have a bit of an escape and see some, a beautiful location and a sunset. At the time I didn't film a lot to camera because there was a lot of people around on the lock enjoying the lock there was even wild swimmers swimming through the lock at one point so it was quite difficult to film and talk to camera you know how that works on this channel I don't always like talking to camera when people are around but overall that was a fantastic evening one of the best sunsets I've had this autumn it was beautiful colors and I planned it well so that I could watch it and anticipate what was going to happen so I was really happy with how the day turned out and I'm really happy with how the images turned out from that shoot next up is another from location to print vlog I've got to piece it together but um, I went out one morning I took a fantastic photo that I was really happy with but I made an error in the print so that is what's coming up next which will hopefully be out on Friday if the editing doesn't prove too difficult. If you've enjoyed today don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you want to give it a thumbs up that's always very nice to know that the vlogs are being appreciated and that I'm entertaining you. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.